Hi, welcome to Northern Thrifters. My name is Melinda and today I'll be doing a quick review of the Kiehl's Head to Toe Routine Kit. I picked this up at Sephora for $22 Canadian and it gives a bunch of um, sample sizes of Kiehl's products so you can try them out. And I'll just show you the inside. So on this side was a foil pack of shampoo and conditioner and then you get the body lotion, the hand cream and the lip balm. And overall I'm kind of surprised by this kit. I bought it for two um, items in here, the hand lotion and the lip balm because I was more curious about trying those and the extras to me were the body lotion and the shampoo and conditioner. It turns out I liked the extras items better than the items that I bought the kit for. So I'll get into the review and kind of explain that a little bit. So we'll start with the shampoo and conditioner. Now the one um, kind of negative I have about the shampoo and conditioner is I wish in this kit they would have put a larger sample like 10 mil, 30 mil, something like that because I only got uh, one use set of each. So it would have been nice to be able to use it over a few shampoos to really give it a, a try. So this uh, review is just based on the, the one <laughs> time that I used it. So overall really like this shampoo and conditioner. Um, it smells quite good. It does have a smell like a scent of coconut, which isn't my favorite, but it is nice in, in this. Um, like I really don't like smelling like the beach when I'm not at the beach, if you know what I mean. So this kind of has that smell, but um, I could get past it. it. It did smell okay. And the shampoo, I think it, it cleaned my hair. My hair did not feel stripped at all after using it. And then the conditioner, I was really surprised because when I was putting it in, kind of just had that feeling, oh, it's not really going to do anything. But then when I went to blow dry and style my hair, that's when I noticed how good this product is. It, My hair did not tangle at all and was super soft throughout that day. So it's a pretty good conditioner. So this, it was their amino acid shampoo and conditioner with pure coconut oil is the two samples that I used. So yeah, only downside is I wish the sample sizes were larger in this kit for that. So then the next thing that I really liked and was surprised that I like is their um, body lotion. Um, it's unscented, it absorbed quite well, it's very thick so you don't need too much of it. And what I did notice, which is like, I'm just so happy with finding this cream. I get these little red bumps on the, my upper arms, very small little red bumps. It's not all the time, but every once in a while and I've had them lately. So I was using this, you know, all over and I noticed it was helping get rid of the little bumps. So this is for me a great product. I've actually found something that seems to help with that. And overall, it's a really good body moisturizer. My one um, sort of negative on it, and it might be related to the size of this bottle, is it's super hard to get this cream out of this bottle. Like the cream is very thick and you have to like really shake it and uh, give it a huge squeeze to be able to get any product out. So, but maybe on the larger, like a full size of this, you wouldn't have that issue because the sample size of this is 75 mil. And honestly, I've only used like, like it's now down to about here, I think. A little goes a long way with this. So I'm not sure of the full size price, but it would last quite a while. Now, the first of two products in here that I was really excited to try, but I'm sort of uh, kind of let down about. So we'll start with the uh, lip balm. So um, I get really dry lips. Um, living in Canada, quite a lot of the year, my lips are very dry. So I like to use chapstick or um, lip balm. So I thought, oh, a Kiehl's one, we'll give that a try. So it is nice, um, but the one thing about it, I don't know if I can, you'll be able to see it if I show, like it's very like jelly like, right? But it is so greasy. Like, I don't know if you can see, can you see how shiny that is? Like when I put it on, like that's all I could feel was the greasiness of this. And it felt like it was kind of spreading around. I didn't like it. It's like, you know, you've eaten greasy chicken or something and your mouth is covered in, this is what <laughs> gave me was that sort of feeling of, you know, that greasy chicken feel. 
Um, it doesn't have a smell or anything, and I think I just got some on my nose. If I have a shiny nose, that's why. I got some of this greasy lip balm. So I did give this to my daughter because she said she doesn't care if it's greasy. She'll use it. She gets really dry lips too. So I've given it to her. So it's not going to go to waste at all. It is not a product I would ever buy. I just found it way too greasy. Like even on my hands right now. Like I just had it on my hand, on my fingertip and on my hand. And it's so greasy. Sorry, I need to wipe that off <laughs> before I continue. So the next product that I bought this for to try and I really don't like is the ultimate strength hand salve so a hand cream as I've said on this channel many times I have super dry hands and I'm just trying to find something that works now I will say this did help the dryness of my hands like I'm not saying it, it doesn't work but what the problem is with this it has to me the worst smell for a hand cream like I really wish they had made this unscented because I think I would like it a lot more. Like, uh, how can I explain? Let me just sniff it so I can just be reminded of the smell. Like, right. It's like, um, sort of like Vicks Vapo Rub mixed with some kind of cooking oil or salad dressing, like, like a Mediterranean dressing or something. Like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't even stand the smell. So, I did try it during the day and that's all I could smell and it felt like I had been cooking or something and the smell wouldn't get out of my hands like it's just terrible so I thought oh I'll use it at night because you know you're asleep won't be able to smell it uh no I, <laughs> I had a hard time sleeping because that's all I could smell I actually had to get up and wash my hands a couple times to get rid of this smell so I've barely used this because the smell is just I can't get past it so um, it does provide lots of hydration, but the smell just, <laughs> I can't deal with it. So overall, I think this was a good kit, like $22, that's a pretty good price to be able to try a ton of Kiehl's products. I just wish, like I said, the shampoo and conditioner was larger and that the hand cream was um, unscented, that would have been helpful. And if the lip balm was a little bit less greasy. But the shampoo and conditioner, the quality is top notch. The body lotion, that's amazing to me that it's helping the uh, kind of rash that I get on my upper arms. So overall, I do give this a thumbs up because a couple of the products like I would have never bought on my own. So it's, it's pretty decent. What do you think? Have you bought this kit? Have you tried any of these products? Have you tried other Kiehl's products? Because I know right now it's they're kind of having a resurgence in popularity it seems. I'm seeing ads everywhere about it. Let me know if you've tried anything and while you're down there be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.